Toyo Grid offers a construction system designed for pergular and shed enthusiasts. Among other similar projects, before you skip ahead in the video, consider this. The manufacturer have something quite interesting to offer. Toyo Grid relies on versatile modular assemblies, meaning you can easily expand or enhance your pergular, like adding a swing, using just a ladder and a simple screwdriver. The only thing you'll need to provide is the wood, as it's not included in the kit, but is the good part. You won't have to worry about preparing a foundation, as Toy Grid structures adapt well to compacted soils. The fasteners are made from 2 mm thick steel, and a basic set of four is priced at 176. How can we make furniture, production, and construction more eco friendly? The creators of Licknalock Nails have a solution. These nails are crafted from wood instead of metal, making it simpler to prepare an old bedside table. The company claims that these wooden nails, measuring 3.7 mm in diameter and 50 to 65 mm in length, are just as sturdy as aluminum nails. The only difference is that you'll need a pneumatic nail gun to drive them in instead of a regular hammer. During this process, the nails essentially merge with the wood. This means the nail and, for instance, a draws wall become one. A set of 1,020 Legnalock nails and coils is priced at $135. Speaking of Lego, let's turn our attention to a team from Denmark, the homeland of Lego. They've introduced the Illic, acoustic panels that can be easily put together. The process is described simply as click push next. These panels are secured using Vilinger Innovations 5G technology, similar to that commonly found in various floor coverings, wall panels, and even furniture. You can easily tell when the panels properly in place by the distinctive click. Plus, these panels are so versatile and safe that they're suitable even for use in schools. Brick Awards wanted to surprise builders with their wooden bricks. These bricks allow you to assemble a house like a Lego set without the need for nails, screws, glue, or a bunch of tools, making it possible to build a small house in just a couple of days. These wooden bricks come in three sizes and a crafter from Douglas Fir Wood. In tests, buildings built with these bricks endured extreme conditions, including temperatures as low minus as 20 degrees Celsius and an 8.5 magnitude earthquake. Furthermore, Houses built where these bricks don't require cladding or vapor barriers, and bricker wood promises solid energy efficiency. This is how they handle wood in Sweden. This unique wooden structure is known as Wisdom Stockholm. It was built as an extension to the Swedish National Museum of Science and Technology. It covers an area of about 13 square meters. Inside the wooden dome, visitors can experience a 360-degree 3D projection system. The impressive span reaches up to 48 meters. And remarkably, no supporting columns were used. This feat was accomplished using roughly 20 kilometers of LVL beams. Speaking of wood-related innovations, we can't overlook paper crete. It's essentially woods compressed and bonded with cements and various additives. That's why paper crete blocks are easy to saw and cut. On the screen, you can see the Isotex blocks, which stand out for their excellent sound insulation. An Isotex block used as a partition wall can reduce noise by approximately 46 decibels. The company also emphasizes the block's strong adhesion, making it possible to, for example, apply plaster standard. Isotex blocks come in dimensions of 50 by 10 by 25 cm and are excellent for dividing rooms in an apartment. If you're interested in working with wood, but not quite ready to tackle a skyscraper, consider starting with a deck or patio. For surfaces like old concrete, these deck tiles, made from wood fibers with a protective polymer coating, are an excellent choice. They offer a blend of lightness, durability, and resistance to fading. Besides, they're incredibly easy to install. Thanks to the interlocking system, Standard tiles come in various sizes, 30.5 squares, 30.5 by 61, and 30.5 by 91 point for centimeters. 
Plus, customers can choose from a range of colors, including options like blue and pink. Norwegian Builders joined the Wooden Architecture Party by building the world's tallest wooden building in Brumendal. It's called Muir Stornet, and it stands at an impressive height of 85.4 meters, surpassing even the Arc de Triomphe in Paris. The building boasts 18 floors and a basement, covering a total area of about 11,300 square meters. This ample space accommodates restaurants, offices, and apartments. The construction process took a year and a half and followed an interesting approach. Workers initially assembled for story blocks, which were then stacked using a crane. In nature, every tree is unique, and this makes every log house unique too. According to Natural Log House, their experts are ready to build a personalized home and assure that it will be crafted from 98% biodegradable natural materials, just like in those coffee ads, where experts meticulously choose the right beans. The Natural Log House team is equally meticulous in selecting the wood. Specifically, they opt for trees growing between 812 meters above sea level and the timber is harvested during the winter, with consideration for moon phases. Popular choices include silver Fir and spruce. It's estimated that a 150-square-meter house can be finished in approximately six months. Today, robots play a significant role in creating different wooden structures take, for instance, the KUKA KR-240 robots, which contributed to the construction of this pavilion. It handled tasks like cutting, installing, and connecting the slats for the columns. The project also enlisted Erner Egg Holtz Bau, which introduced Europe's largest robotic timber construction system in 2015. This project serves as a prime example of how much easier and more efficient work becomes with the assistance of robots. The pavilion in the video is exceptional, comprising for 156 parts and it was finished in just three days. Staco has introduced a wooden innovation, a softwood floor insulation that works effectively on both wood and concrete floors. Beyond its primary purpose, it also diminishes noise by approximately 25 decibels. If needed, this insulation can be used in interior partitions as well. The materials breathable, resistant temperature variations, and non-flammable. Skillful board installation can even conceal minor floor imperfections. Moreover, these boards are suitable for installing underfloor heating. Meanwhile, in the United States, they've tested the tallest building ever placed in an earthquake simulator. This wooden architectural marvel stood at 30 for meters, equivalent to about 10 stories. Multiple manufacturers contribute to materials like CLT and MPP engineers also incorporated rocking walls, enabling the building to level itself. For added shock protection, post tensions, steel rods were installed on all floors. The results of tests showed that, even in the face of a 7.7 .7 magnitude earthquake, the damage was relatively minimal. Furthermore, this type of building is much easier to repair even after strong earthquakes. Bloomer is a company known for its expertise in building framed buildings, and they rely on the BSB system. This system combines glulam steel plates and dowels. It's versatile enough to facilitate connections between steel and concrete structures, making it suitable for building anything from gyms to bridges. In conclusion, let's acknowledge the inventiveness and resourcefulness of multiple construction and engineering firms. We'll begin with a visit to the British Arboretum of Western Burt, home to around 15,000 trees. You can admire them along a 300-meter path, elevated by tall wooden supports, reaching a height of 13 meters. The clever design ensures that even individuals in wheelchairs can comfortably enjoy the walk. Similar supports were used in the following project to provide stability for a 60-square-meter house on a hillside in Brazil. With construction specialists will find this protective membrane highly useful. It's transparent, eliminating the need for a second marking. The membrane is airtight and waterproof, but allows vapor to pass through. It also resists abrasion and foot traffic, 
with its self-adhesive surface. You can protect your workspace in no time. Plus, if you place the membrane incorrectly, it's easy to reposition. The membrane is composed of multiple layers. They are from top to bottom, even on woven. PP fabric and adhesive layer with acrylic dispersion, and a separating layer of plastic film, 